This is Classical Conversations, Cycle 1, Week 1, Science. For this experiment, you will need your Van Cleve 201 Experiments book, and you will need to be on Lesson 45, Baby Bean. 45, Baby Bean. For this lesson, I will be providing um, two beans that are soaked and two beans that are dry per student, so each student will have their own beans. We will have those in jars, so there'll be some jars with the soaked beans and some jars with the dried beans. We'll also have uh, paper towels and some tap water, and then they're they're definitely going to need a magnifying glass. So I will have the little individual handheld magnifying glasses in the boxes for you because the parts that they're going to be examining are are tiny to microscopic, and they're going to need that. So you're going to begin this lesson with examining a bean. So this is the dried bean. I'm going to hold up a soaked one for comparison of size. I, I think you can tell pretty easily the difference in size. The soaked bean gets quite a bit larger. For the external part of the bean, you're, you're going to be examining and looking at the seed covering, the seed coat, the seed coat, which is just this external part, the brown that you see and you're going to be looking for the micropile, which is just a microscopic little dot where the pollen enters. And then you're going to be looking for the, the hilum. And that's where the bean was attached to the pod wall. It's that little white portion that you see. Let's just see if I can get that close for you. That little white part is the seed wall. And that's called the hilum. Okay. So after you have looked at the external parts of a dry bean, then you're going to move to one of your wet beans. And the first thing you're going to do is remove the seed, cover, seed coat, which I went ahead and did. So here's the seed coat. I've taken that off. And then you have a lovely white bean, which I have here. You can see that it's white now. And if you break it apart gently, it's pretty incredible. You can see where it has started to sprout a little stem. Can you see that little part right there, that little stem? Um, I purchased for our community the Cornerstone lesson plans for the first 12 weeks of science, and they have an extension activity for this. This this activity is very small and there's only one experiment this week. So it's probably only going to take you about 15 minutes to evaluate both seeds, look at them, talk about the parts, what their what their jobs are. And that that um, cornerstone activity will extend your time and it's really great because it has conversations about God and about his creation and about how amazing his design is. So I haven't purchased those in the past, but I've I'm really pleased that I did that this year and it will help to extend your time. That is all for Cycle 1 Week 1 Science.